So I was looking at the earnings presentation of Starbucks and I noticed this slide pop up. Now there's a lot of information on this slide and it's very common that we see these corporate slides with a lot of text on it. Now I'm going to try to redesign this and see what we can do to improve it and really make it like stand out while keeping all the information in place. So let's see what we can do. Now, the first thing that immediately grabs my attention on this slide is that large block or that quote at the top. Then we have this global net revenue here at the bottom with the 8.8 .8 billion. And then we have those three dots here in the bottom right corner. So we're working with a three part or three large components. Now, for me, this large block here at the top, that quote, if we want to keep it on the slide, we have to do something with it because it's very difficult to read. It takes too much attention and the focus is not right. I think it takes too much of a space on the slide. And now with those blocks here at the bottom, I think we can redesign and reposition them in a way that this slide overall feels more balanced. So let's have a look at the redesigned version. Now here you can see my redesigned version of the slide and a few things I've changed. So the quote itself, I try to incorporate the picture of the CEO and then include that quote. Now there's one important part, which is the back to Starbucks part of that quote. So I try to highlight that in a bit more bold and a colorful way. Then I also try to use like an element in the background, that rounded rectangle, which sort of creates a boundary of that quote and makes it as a standalone document. Then we have the picture here of the CEO Brian that I try to include in the slide and to have such an image on the slide, especially these from the CEO, that will help you a lot with the attention that you get with the chart. And then this text here, I try to sort of blend that in. It's just a left align. So we can see it's a left align here, but then I play around with the text box. So it sort of fit around the picture of the uh, CEO. Then I also remove the background of that picture. So it nicely blends in with the slide. In the background, we can see that we start from a light part and we go to a dark part. So we have a gradient there that runs from one side to the next. And then here on the left side of the slide, I try to include that content or that main part of the numbers. So we have the title at the top and the subtitle. I also split it up to make some more hierarchy to create some hierarchy in these things. And then I kept the number so that pie chart, that donut chart, I kept it almost the same. And I just split this one up a little bit more clearly. So instead of putting it on top, I put it close to the pie chart or the donut chart to make it very readable. And then as the three parts below, we can see the regions like the global, we can see North America and international. I just split them up again, gave it a bit more room to work with and sort of increase the size a little bit. Now in general, we can see that we have this two part slide. So we have the content here on the right side and we have the quote here on the left side. So I try to work with that two part slide to sort of keep that balance a little bit. And I think that's always important. Now let's compare it again to the previous version and see if we made an improvement. So looking back at this previous version, I think this was a bit too much. There's that text, that very large text box, which doesn't really invite their audience to read what is on there. And it's super important since it's a quote from the CEO. And then we have the block here at the bottom. You sort of have to scan from the number and then go to see what it means. So I try to incorporate those a little bit closer and make it feel a bit more natural. So overall, I think if we compare this one to the new version, we made it way more clear and we try to give some breathing room while maintaining that large amount of content. And that's something which we see in a lot of corporate sites. Sometimes you need content, but you can work around it if you puzzle the pieces right. So definitely let me know if you like this redesign in the comments below. If you do some certain things differently or if there's a certain slide you would like me to look at, let me know as well. So thanks a lot for watching. And if you really want to become a slide design expert and sort of spot all these things yourself and know exactly how to fix it, I have a program available that teaches you all the fundamentals of slide design. So if this is for you and if you're interested, make sure to check the link in the description below. Hope to see you in the next video.